Good afternoon everybody and once again welcome back to the video. In this video I'm going to be teaching you how to create transactional data lakes using Spark SQL. That's correct, Spark SQL. So this video is aimed for beginners. Anyone who wants to learn about Apache hoodie or just build transactional data lakes using Spark SQL. So let's get started with the project. Right, let's take a look at the code. I'm going to share my screen and I'll try my best to explain you, uh, uh, you know, step by step. So from line one to line five, we are simply defining import. So we are saying from PySpark SQL session, we are importing Spark session, glue context. Uh, from AWS glue.job, we are importing job, we are importing sys, right? And then uh, on line 11 to line 16, we are creating a Spark session, right? As you can see. Uh, then on line number 23, I'm defining the glue database name. I'm saying it hoodie DB. You can call it literally anything table name. This is the table that will be created under the glue catalog. Um, so I'm naming it customer again, just for demo purposes, table allocation. This is where my transactional data lake will be created under uh, the bucket Somil Shah hoodie demos inside a folder called silver. Now let's see the code. How, how, how can we use spark SQL, right? So first, what we need to do is basically we need to create a database, right? So I have a check for that. So here I'm saying, uh, as you can see, spark.catalog.list databases. And basically all the databases in the glue catalog, I'm storing it in, in an array on line number 29. Then I'm using an if statement. I'm saying if the database that I want to create already exists in the database, right? Uh, if it is if it is already there, I don't want to create it. But if it's not there, I'm creating a database here on line 33. Here is a query. Create database if not exists, the database name, and then here is the location. And then I say spark.sql, and then I print a message, database created. So pretty simple check, right? Uh, all we are doing is basically we are checking if the database exists. If the database exists, uh, then we pass. If the database does not exist, we are going to create that. Back to my console. If the database exists, then now we want to create our hoodie table and insert some dummy data into it, right? Using Spark SQL. So existing table. So I'm saying spark.catalog.list tables, and then I'm providing in the database name over here, right? And then I'm storing all the tables. In, uh, uh, I'm storing all the table as an array on line number 38 in a variable called existing table. Then I say if table not an existing table, meaning if the table that I'm trying to create is not there in the uh, in, in the in the catalog, then I want to create one, right? So here you can see the syntax. Here is the query. So create table database name dot table name, customer ID string name string age integer email string. Again, I am taking a simple dummy data, but again, please make sure you add your whatever schema that you're working with, right? And then here I'm using a word using hoodie table properties. I'm defining my primary key as customer ID, the table type as more, and then uh, I'm defining the method as absurd. Now, again, you can add additional settings over here. I'm simply showing you uh, an example here, right? So hopefully that makes sense. So here, all we are doing is we are creating a table in a glue catalog. We execute the Spark SQL query and then I print a message saying that the table has been created. Once the table has been created, now we're going to insert some dummy data into it using Spark SQL. And now the way you can do that is again, I have some sample data over here. You can read data from Dynamo, S3, any location, right? So I'm just showing you the concept. On line 59 to line 62, I have some uh, tuples, right? Uh, array of tuples, right? Uh, now what I'm going to do is basically I'm creating a data frame right on line 64. I'm providing in that array of tuples and then I'm providing the column names that I have. And then observe here, I am creating a temp view called temp table. Okay. So once you have that, now all I got to do is say insert into table database name dot table name, which in this case is hoodie dot customer, select everything from temp table, meaning I read this data frame and I, I read this Spark data frame and I, I made a, a temp view. So you can see dot create or replace temp view. Now I can simply issue a SQL query, right? I'm saying insert into this hoodie table and select everything from this temp table, which is in this case is this two items C001 and C002. 
Now that I have walked you over the code, now let's uh, basically deploy this on AWS Glue and run this job. Now let's deploy the job, right? So I am on my AWS management console and then I will be heading over to the ETL jobs. Uh, here you can click on uh, basically, uh, where is that? Spark script editor, click on the orange button create and copy paste the code inside that. Once you're done with that, I will be walking you over the settings that you need to do. Select the type as Spark, select the Glue version as 4.0, language as Python, worker, you can leave it to default. And then the main thing that you gotta do, all the way on the bottom section under job parameters, make sure data lake, formats, data lake formats is hoodie and you need to provide this configuration. This is very important. And again, this configuration will be there in the code section. Um, so simply copy paste and just uh, dump it there. So hyphen hyphen conf and then paste in the configuration, hyphen hyphen data lake format as hoodie. I'm gonna save the job, okay? And again, it's the same code that I just walked you. Now I will be running the job. So I'm gonna run the job. As you can see, the job is now in the running state, as you can see. Now this will take about two minutes and once the job is complete, I will be resuming the video and then showing you the further part. My job is finally complete and here you can see, I see a folder called silver and I see a table called customer and I see some hoodie, a metadata and some parquet files. I can head over to Athena and I can um, select the database as HoodieDB. I see a, a table called customers. And now you can simply click on uh, preview. And again, you this is again gonna run an ad hoc query and uh, again, preview the results for you. So let me share my screen again. Uh, so hopefully, as you can see, using Spark SQL, we inserted two records. That is Saumil Shah, Nitin, and here you can see, right? now. If there are any errors or if there are any issues, please make sure to post this in the hoodie Slack community or you can also open up a support ticket with AWS so they can assist you better. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you have enjoyed. All the resources could be found on the description section below. With that being said, if you have any other question, do let me know. Until then, keep smiling, keep programming and I'll see you in the next video.